Okay, now we're going to make, uh, remember we made the yogurt, so the whole raw milk, whole, yo whole yogurt. So this is what we're going to do now. Um, something else I wanted to tell you is, um, you know, it comes up with people. Oh, so this is what it looks like. It's a little more runny. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm pouring it in cheesecloth. So what I did is I took uh, this glass and I put a cheesecloth this way and a cheesecloth this way. And this is going to end up being expensive, you know, when I keep making this. So I'm just going to get like a dishcloth and do that instead. But I want it more square because you see I'm going to wrap this up. I want to tell you about realmilk.com. So www.realmilk.com, R-E-A-L-M-I-L-K.com. And they've done all the research about um, pasteurized milk and raw milk. Because historically, that's all we had was raw milk. Because cows went out and ate the green grass, were in the sunshine, and we drank their milk. But what we really did is we made the yogurt and the cheeses and the butter and the cream. And that is what made up a healthy diet historically. When they started bringing the cows in and started feeding them grain, that's when other funky bacteria started growing. And instead of going back to feed them green grass, that was more expensive. It was more profitable to have them inside, feed them corn and all of that stuff, and produce a higher milk yield and pasteurize. So then people weren't getting sick from the milk that had the funky bacteria because the cows were eating grain, which is not a normal diet for a cow. A cow eats grass and is out in the sun. So just go so you can have your head around how wonderful and how beneficial this is for us and how healthy we're going to be because all the live bacteria is everything for your gut. The chemicals created in your gut is what's in our brain. So we're going to be happy bacteria, happy thoughts, because we have 10 times more, I believe, it, microbes in our body than cells. So it's a very essential part of our diet to have the good bacteria. Okay, so here's one I haven't opened. The reason this one was half full is because we've been chowing on it. It's flipping good. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Okay, so here, oh, this one's thicker. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so now I'm going to take this. And I'm going to tie it because la 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 la. It's a rest stop. I'm going to tie it. Okay. okay, so this is my first time, so be patient with me. So I put too much yogurt in the cheesecloth. Okay, so now this is what I think I would use. But what's happening is I tied this, but it's falling out. Okay, so I just should have had a bigger piece of cheesecloth. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is tie this. And tie this. Because what I'm going to do is strain it. Okay. So I'm going to put this through here. And then I got my yogurt holding glasses. They're very special, mind you. <laughs> okay, so now what's going to happen is it's going to start dripping over time. So what I can do with this, I can actually raise it. I have lifters here I bought. <laughs> I just cracked myself up. Okay. So what's going to happen now is the whey is going to drip out of the yogurt. And what we're going to get is um, we can get a thicker yogurt if we want. And if we let it drip longer, so what I want to do today is I'm going to leave it here like two hours and see what the cheese is, what the yogurt is like. And I might take it out then 
or if I left it overnight, like 10 or 12 hours, it would become more cheese-like, like a cream cheese. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the whey, the leftover whey, which is like so nutritious and good. This is very nutritious and good and yummy, and so is the whey. So let's let it sit, and we'll check back in a couple hours and see how much of the whey is dripped out. Okay, okay so look how much... It's like almost um, two, a little over two cups of whey. And so I'm going to undo this. And if we left it overnight, it would be more. So I'm just going to put it on the counter here. And then what I'm going to do is just take this. See, look what it's like. So this is just going to go in, I'm just going to, it's thicker, and I'm going to scoop it in my, did I tie that? Hold on. I think I tied it. I'll just squish it in there. Uh, hold on. I think, yeah, I tied. Okay, so we're just learning together. Because <laughs> I tied that. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is scoop all this off because this is like all the yummy. Yeah yogurt here, and I don't want to just... Okay, so I'm going to scoop all that in there, but I want to taste it for you. So this is not quite like a Greek yogurt, but, you know, maybe. Okay, so I'm going to get all that in there, and then um, on a second lesson, I'm going to talk to you about what I'm going to do with the whey. So basically what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put it in a glass container and just put it in the refrigerator. Okay, so I put my whey, got two cups, this will keep for six months. Now I'm going to taste our thick cheese. Well, it's, it's a thick yogurt and it's totally alive and oh. I'm not kidding you guys. I've really never liked yogurt because it's so sour. This is like um, creamy and slightly acidic and you can taste the sweetness of the milk. You guys are going to go ape. Okay. To your health. <laughs>